Why is Earthshock called Earthshock? Shouldn't it be Azeroth Shock? Wonderful question raised by the flavor text of the Hearthstone card based on the spell. I wonder if people in Azeroth know why they call most ground-related abilities Earth. Like Earth Elementals, Earth Grab Totem, Earthquake, Earth Shield, etc. I just assume in the Warcraft world, the word Earth is just synonymous with dirt or rocks. And is their all-encompassing word to describe those things. And the idea of using the planet's name in its stead just never occurred to them. But whatever the case, let's talk about Earthshock. In Earthshock's first form, it had a short 20-yard range, a shared 6-second cooldown with the other two shocks, and its effect was simply to do upfront damage and interrupt spellcasting for 2 seconds. Yep, that's right, a normal DPS ability had a baked-in interrupt, in a time where only a handful of classes even had an interrupt, let alone one on a short 6-second cooldown, and let alone one that did good damage. Earthshock was suitably OP against casters. Now, this may surprise you to hear, considering just how good an OP Earthshock sounds in its first form, but it actually wasn't the most overpowered shock shamans had. Frostshock was, but I'm pretty sure you'll find people who will debate which one was better in vanilla. The fact of the matter is that they were both really good for different types of opponents, so it didn't really matter. It was also the second most damage of the three shocks per cast. Flame Shock did a little more damage if you counted its full dot into the equation. But for a pure upfront instant damage point of view, Earth Shock was the best. But Frost Shock was also pretty great as well at this time. Earth Shock was also changed very early on to cause extra aggro, in case you wanted to pull extra aggro for some reason. Both Enhanced Shamans and Elemental Shamans were pretty mana starved on a whole. If they ever needed to use Earthshock as only an interrupt, it was not a foreign concept for them to just use one of its lower ranks to conserve on mana. In the Burning Crusade, Earthshock was changed to no longer generate extra threat, and instead, Frostshock was the extra threat generator shock, allowing more liberal use of Earthshock for damage in the times when threat was still a thing DPS had to worry about. In Wrath of the Lich King, a new shock was introduced that would also have the interrupt effect, called Wind Shock. Wind Shock shared a 6 second cooldown with the other 3 shocks, and was meant as a replacement to shamans using rank 1 Earth Shock as an interrupt. Wind Shock did no damage, but was not on the global cooldown, and a lower threat. It had the same 20 yard range like all the other shocks, and interrupted for 2 seconds like Earth Shock. Then in patch 3.2, Wind Shock was renamed to Wind Shear, and was no longer counted as a shock, and instead, it had its very own, non-shared 6 second cooldown. It still did exactly the same thing as it did before though, the only major change was its name, and having its own cooldown. So for a very short time in the Wrath of the Lich King, Shamans had 4 shocks instead of the historical 3. Earth Shock was also changed at this time. Instead of having an interrupt effect, they changed it to apply a melee attack speed slow. Since they already had wind shear to interrupt off the global cooldown, there wasn't really a reason for Earthshock to also have an interrupt. Unless Blizzard wanted to be crazy and give shamans two interrupts on two very short cooldowns. Six seconds was the second shortest cooldown for an interrupt in the game. The first being rogues with fan of knives. Rogues could take a talent, at around the same time all these changes went through, which gave Fan of Knives a baked in interrupt, and Fan of Knives had no cooldown. So as long as rogues had the energy to use Fan of Knives, they could interrupt. But Fan of Knives had a pretty short range, so Windshear and Earthshock still held the record for shortest cooldown on a ranged interrupt. In Cataclysm, Earthshock had its melee slow debuff increased, and was a rotational ability for elemental shamans to spend their stacks of lightning shield. Ellie Shamans had a talent to increase the number of Lightning Shield stacks on themselves by using normal abilities, and they could cast Earth Shock to consume all the extra charges on their shield past one to do the damage instantly. The extra damage was separate to Earth Shock's damage, so Earth Shock acted more of a, a detonator for the talent, rather than the talent buffing Earth Shock's damage. In Miss, it was pretty much used the same way only it now applied a melee damage reduction debuff rather than a melee attack speed slow. 
In Warlords, Earthshock was changed to be an elemental only spell, with Enhanced and Resto Shamans encouraged to just use Frost Shock if they wanted quick, instant cast damage, since the debuff from Earthshock was also removed. Also in Warlords, Earthshock was used pretty much for the exact same purpose it was used in Cataclysm and Miss, as a way to spend your Lightning Shield stacks. Except now it no longer applied a debuff, and still had the same short 25 yard range and 6 second shared cooldown. Then in Legion, Earthshock saw major changes. Its cooldown was removed, its base range increased to 40 yards, and was no longer just the detonator to another ability, and instead is now used for its own damage. Earthshock is the main way elemental shamans want to spend their maelstrom resource. Earthshock does damage based on how much Maelstrom you have, and will just use all of it. So using at 100 Maelstrom will result in the most damage, but it's typically used at around 92 Maelstrom to avoid Maelstrom capping. Earthshock has come a long way from its early days as an OP interrupt to just kind of being used to activate another ability, and then finally to being a main damage dealer ability. Since I don't plan on making a video about the history of Windshear, I think I'll talk about the rest of its changes here, since it was pretty much a branch off the old Earthshock. Like I mentioned earlier, Windshear was first introduced into the game as Shaman's fourth shock, Windshock, then later changed to Windshear and getting its own non-shared cooldown. In Cataclysm, its range was increased to 25 yards, lockout duration increased to 3 seconds, and its cooldown increased to 15 seconds, but could be lowered to 5 seconds with talents. This 5 second range interrupt made shamans the best interrupt in class in Cataclysm, in an expansion with tons of boss fights requiring lots of interrupts. You could just bring one appropriate spec shaman with the talent to interrupt everything, or assign interrupt priorities to everyone else in raid. Many fights were made easier by just having the 5 second range interrupt, especially in 10 man raids where you had less people. In Mists of Pandaria, its lockout duration was lowered back to 2 seconds and its base cooldown was lowered from 15 to 12 seconds. In Warlords of Draenor, its range was increased to 30 yards from 25, a throwback to when it was still a shock, since all shocks had historically short ranges. But most other range interrupts had lower than normal ranges as well, so bringing it up to 30 yards by default just brought it more in line with the other range interrupts. It was also changed to no longer reduce threat, and its lockout duration was changed back to 3 seconds again, while keeping its 12 second cooldown. And this is how Windshear still works to this day. 